basically reaching out to your potential customers using internet. And when I say internet, that means every particular person is using a smartphone or a smartphone device, having an unique IP address, having an unique digital identity, how you can reach out to those potential customers is digital marketing. Be it OTT, be it Facebook, be it Google, be it anything that involves internet marketing. If I talk about like TV and radio, they are primarily the traditional mode of marketing. Now, let's see how this digital marketing is growing. So if you see the TV back in 2019 was having an advertising spend of around 320 crore rupees. Okay. Now 32,000 crore rupees. And then in 2023, that went up to 34,500 crore rupees in TV spends. But if you, that's almost like a linear growth, or I would say a linear line, linear trend. But if you see that digital, it started with 191 and then it went up to 340, almost like 80% jump. The print and outdoor activities that both of them has gone down in recent years. So you see like every company is companies are like opting for digital marketing as their preferred marketing channels nowadays. And not just the big MNCs or big companies, but also like the small startups or small businesses are also leveraging this digital marketing piece. Now, why this has grown? Because of two reasons. So if you see this graph, I have shown two graphs. Like first, what is that data price per GB data price? And if you see like the minimum price, we are having it in India. We have a lower price data price compared to a China and much lower price as compared to an USA. And the consumption is almost like double as compared to an USA. So there are like 80 crore Indians who are online and well, there are like 45% of the population having a smartphone access. On an average, an Indian spend like four and a half hours daily on their phone and out almost like 10 crore people purchase something online. So this data actually give you the scenario like why and how much digital is being used nowadays. And this data is coming from Twiki. Now, for doctors, what do we have for doctors here? So if you see like here is a graph that shows when people are searching for online doctor's appointment, how that trend is growing and how that trend has grown. So this is the first data trend. And then the second data trend, how people have started searching for doctors near me or a clinic near me. And this includes just the doctors, but not any specific type of doctors like a gynecologist or any other category. Okay, this is just for the doctors. So, just for the doctors. If we add all those categories, this graph may look even better. Now, why digital marketing is preferred by all these various companies or why you should prefer digital marketing as your most prominent channel? The first, it is less time consuming. That means like if you want to start with your digital marketing today, in next two hours, you can go live on your Facebook ads. You can go live on your Instagram ads. You can go live with your YouTube ads. You can go live with your Google search ads. Or in next seven days, you can launch your own website as well. So the most less time consumer, most proficient way of marketing is digital. Then the precise targeting. Unlike TV or newspaper, when you put something on a TV or a newspaper, it reaches to the mass, to the wider audience. And that's why the cost is very high. But for example, if you want to do a targeting of a person staying in Pune, aged between 23 to 40, working in some corporate, having an MBA degree, if you want to target this kind of segment, that you can easily do using various various ad platform like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google, YouTube, all these various things, all these various platforms. So 
it has got precise targeting so that you don't have to spend a huge amount of money on just advertisement, but you can make it very cost effective. So you reach out to those audience who are actually looking out for your product as well. And whatever advertisement that you do, whatever money that, that you spend, whatever activity that you do on, on this digital platform, everything is measurable right from how many people watched your video or how many people have seen your ad then how many people actually clicked on the ad then how many people actually landed on your website how many people actually clicked on the book appointment how many people made the payment and how many people successfully booked an appointment with you you can see the entire funnel and then you can also check like all these steps or all this funnel or all these users are coming from which kind of platform? Are they coming from Facebook? Are they coming from Instagram? Are they coming from YouTube? You can track down every detail. So that's why I say this is highly measurable and complete dashboard for this. So now let's move forward. Now, what is the basic science? The basic science is for, and this is customized only for doctors, only for clinics. So the basic science is first, you need a website. And the website should not be a very generic website, but that website should be very, very SEO optimized website. When I say SEO optimized website, that means person searching for anything like gynecologist in Delhi or like the name of the clinic, your website should be visible on Google. Of course, it takes some time because this is not a paid activity. This is a very organic way of marketing. So this may take some time, but eventually you need a website which actually help you grow organically. So that is the first thing. Once you have a website with the best SEO practices, then the first thing that you should do is register yourself on Google My Business. And just registering on Google My Business doesn't help. There are some best practices which actually help you rank better when someone searches for, let's say, diabetes clinic near me or eye clinic near me or any such keyword that invo involves near me or in a particular location like eye clinic in South Delhi or eye clinic in South Bombay. So if you include this kind of keyword, how you can rank on the top of the Google map is how the optimization is done. So first you have a website, then you do the Google business listing and optimization. Third, to reach out to more audience, you run Facebook ads so that you can reach out to more audience who, are, who might be interested in your, prof, uh, in your business. Simultaneously, what we do is, let's say if you have a database of a lot of users that have, are your old customers or who are your patients from last couple of years, so what you can do is you can upload their database on Facebook and do a lookalike audience, like the similar audience. Okay. So if you upload their phone number or their email ID on Facebook and then do a targeting key, okay, I want to show my ads to all those audience with the similar kind of profiling, then also you can do. So that's how you can reach to wider audience. Then third is Google ads. Google ad is technically very vast. So we are not going to cover it in this session, but let me tell you on Google ads, if someone is searching for any keyword related to you, for example, gynecologist or best gynecologist in India, then you can throw your ad and you can bring that traffic to your website and then get a conversion. So, but if you see all this should have a, a brain or a central management system, which is like a ACO optimized website. Now let's talk about the website and its best practices for SEO. So the first question is, why do we need a website? So the website is your social proof. So for example, there is a person who is recommending a doctor. Okay. So let's say one of my friends recommended a doctor to me. Uh, let's say the doctor is Dr. Almas Fatima. Okay, now since you have recommended Dr. Almas Fatima to me, the first thing that I will do is I will go and search for your website or I will go and look for your Google reviews or I will go to your Facebook and see what are you posting. So if you have your website or a Facebook 
or a Google business listing, that means you are a genuine doctor, people are talking nice about you, you are very active with your customers and so on. So if you have a website, it is your social, this is your social proof. Also your website can help you become discoverable on Google search. So if someone is searching for your name or your brand name or your practices, your website can, uh, can come on top of Google search and then uh, you can increase your visibility. The organic SEO for your website is a long-term investment. If you start ranking on number top five of Google search, then business will automatically come to you. And we all understand how the SEO thing works and how important it is for every business to rank on Google nowadays. Then if your clinic is offline, like for example, after nine o'clock, your cleaning is off, but your website can run 24 seven. So for example, if you have integrated a chatbot or if you have integrated your WhatsApp or if you have a contact form for that matter, where person can put up a query, they can interact with your website. They can look for various practices, services that you have to offer. So why do we need a website? These are the four reasons. If you have any query, like you can put those queries in the chat and my team will ask those questions to me. So how do we start with a website? Okay. So the process is very simple first, and this might look simple to me because I am in this digital space for last almost 12, 13 years. Okay. But we are always there to help. So if you have any question, you can directly put those questions to me. Okay. So the first is buy a domain name. You can buy a domain name from GoDaddy or Big Rock or any other. There is a uh, platform called Namecheap. We, we can actually give you domain name at a very lower cost. So you can buy a domain name, then purchase a web website hosting. Now you can purchase a web website hosting from God GoDaddy or Bluehost or HostGator. So you can purchase a website hosting, then create a mobile optimized site. All this platform, they give you very basic website building tools through which you can create a mobile, uh, mobile based website. Then you have to optimize your website based on various keywords that you, your customers are actually looking on Google. Okay. There is a tool called Google trends on Google trends. You can go and search for the various trending words in your category or your users might be searching. So you can definitely look for all these kind of keywords. Then you list your website on Google My Business or various other places like Just Dial, Suleka, various directory listing sites. You also embed the social media handles and YouTube on your website. So if you do all these various practices, then your website is going to definitely rank on Google. And there are so many other things that we do uh, that will slowly show you and discuss. But why is SEO important? The SEO is important because it helps you rank on first page of Google. It's like the cheapest way of marketing because you don't have to pay anything to Google or to Facebook. It's just the effort cost. Okay. Uh, if you are there present on the Google search, then you are getting more visible. So whenever a user is searching for a very generic query like diabetes remedy, and your, if your website is visible, that will create a brand impact, okay? And if you are there on the top of the Google search, that will also help users to trust more on you. They will have a better conversion rate. The, all the website who, who are present on the top of the Google search, they always have a better conversion rate. So that's why the SEO is important for you. Now let's, talk about how we as I care help can help you now uh, Mr. Sunil can you like take this over from here thanks Anirvan for this uh, detailed insight on how the website SEO and the local search results help and uh, once again thanks to all the doctors for joining in and uh, here when at I care he'll be analyzed the entire healthcare practices which are being run by doctors uh, we found out that our business is hyper local and after working for uh, so long a period now we know that a dental practice needs to optimize itself for two and a half kilometers 
of radius a gynecology practice needs to optimize for 8 km of radius and a super speciality need to optimize itself for 15 km to 20 km of radius and uh, uh, the other thing that we saw was that the everything was disjoint uh, you were doing google my business on your own somebody was creating the website and then the seo was being Uh, attended i care heal we bring all these things together in a very very uh, seamless way that helps you that that helps give you detailed uh, results during the local searches so what we primarily uh, help you achieve is that uh, you start ranking better on google local searches within the area where we think the patient would come from uh, second uh, how do we optimize and increase the number of reviews from the patients who are visiting your clinic uh, third uh, creating awareness about your practice about the diseases that you treat about how you lead to wellness is what we do, do through our automated social media posts and our research says that 10% of the patients also prefer to book online so by having an automated appointment booking system on your website itself uh, you tend to get to those patients as well so holistically we help you achieve these four uh, these four things and now through a live demo i'll explain you uh, how we do this so so let me share my screen now i, I hope my screen is visible yes so we so we showcase this to you with the help of an example of a clinic that we work with so this is the local google search results for a clinic novio medics that we work with and you would see the way the content is written at the top then the reviews and the rating uh, and then the linking of the website to it that we create through our platform uh, and all the four factors which are how the content should be written how do we work with patients to increase reviews Uh, and then connecting it to a website which directly leads you to the appointment booking and increased results at a local level uh, and this entire website is being created uh, using i care heals platform that we'll showcase to you now uh, and here we do not only build it on the platform but we also continuously uh, create content graphics and seo for the website so the look and feel of the website would be like this where there is a banner at the top then we showcase the details and then if you would see the appointment booking system on the right uh, here a user will have an option to select uh, uh, the specialty then they can select the doctor then they would be select able to select what mode of consultation is being offered and a multi location initiative and post which they can also select the slots uh, which the clinic offers and they can pay the money and book appointment so this takes care of those 10% patients that prefer to book online uh, then we create decent graphics to showcase your hospital uh, and the specialties Uh, then you get to everybody gets to see the team that works as a part of the initiative and uh, we automatically uh, optimize the profile of each of the doctors uh, for their discipline and optimization this is something that uh, we we create uh, for you and post this you a uh, user will be able to see your services uh, the patient testimonials and the frequently asked question Uh, and we can we we normally turn around this entire thing in a span of 2 to 3 days of time uh, that we start working with uh, so this take so here we take care of your local seo through google google profiles uh, the website uh, and the seo all together now let me show you how this entire thing works at the back end and how you yourself will be able to manage uh, manage this website on your own so you would have a username and password of your own uh, with which you would log in uh, you would see a website builder at the left uh, then here you would be able to see your uh, representative website as to how this will look to the user uh, how this is mobile optimized is visible to you over here 
uh, as to how a user on the mobile will see the website. Uh, some of the automations that we did for search engine optimization is being put over here by way of title, description, and the keywords that we find out. And the next set of automation is by way of the colors that you can choose for your website and the pages that uh, you can create on it. And in terms of the content and graphic uh, automation and services, uh, the full editor is there where the, the logo of the website, uh, how the look and feel of the banner will be, uh, the content and photographs for your clinic, uh, what all specialities do you offer, uh, and then the health uniqueness within the healthcare services, uh, patient testimonials can be added uh, as many as possible. And then we decide which ones to show on the website. Uh, then the FAQs and all your social media handles are being tagged over here. Uh, so, and as soon as after doing this, we publish, uh, the entire website is live for the user. Uh, so this is how we create the entire website in a span of two days of time, uh, where we only need half an hour from you uh, to understand how you have been doing and uh, take this to the next level. Uh, so over to you, Anirban. Thank you so much. So let me just share my screen again. So the question is how we can use digital marketing. So primarily after you have the website, Google My Business, Facebook or the Meta Ads and Google Ads. Okay, these are the three things that one should focus on at the very uh, initial stage. Uh, and we are going to cover Meta Ads and Google My Business only. So let's start with Google My Business. So Google My Business, as we know on Google map, if someone is searching for any particular keyword, for example, a dental clinic near me, a list will come up, a list will pop up. So all the nearest dental clinic will appear, but the ranking will be based on certain parameters. Okay. So we'll discuss what are those best practices using which you can rank yourself. But once you are there on once a user is there on the listing page, they can directly visit your, visit your website by clicking on the website. They can directly make a call or they can also find a direction. So these are the primary uh, call to action that a user is going to take. Now, the objective is to rank number one, obviously. And for that, what are the various things that you should do? What are the best practices? First, regularly update photos in your Google My Business. So let's say, for example, if your patients are coming or if you are performing any kind of surgery or you doing any kind of checking or if you have a good testimonial if, or if you have a good customer who is, who is giving a good feedback about you, you can use that. You can regularly post some new updates about your clinic, about the industry, about various kind of problem that patient might face that you can post on your Google My Business. You should also list all the various services and products that you have. And when I say all, that means the exhaustive list, like all the services that you can add because the more services you add, that means you are using or giving more keywords to your customers. So that's why use all the various services. Please make sure your business name, the business address and the phone number, which we call the NAP, name, address, phone number is exactly matching is whatever is written on your board. Because what Google does is they make those physical visits and verify your identity. Also, this correct name, address, phone number should be mentioned on all the various other directory listing platform like just dial Suleka, yellow pages or any other platform so just try to keep it very consistent that's very important then whenever there is a satisfied customer try to get a rating or a review the best practices that i've seen is every time you check a patient and if the treatment is done and he's satisfied just send them a whatsapp saying you why don't you review us for this particular treatment. So you can do that. And if the person is actually happy with your services, they are definitely give, give you a good feedback. Then the last point and the most important point is 
not only your Google My Business should be optimized, but the opti website which is linked with your Google My Business should also be optimized with clear call to action. The name, address, and phone number should also be mentioned on your website. You should have testimonials, the exact number of services that you have mentioned. Those services should be listed on your website. The opening and closing hours, which is mentioned in your Google My Business, should also be mentioned on your website. So if you do all these various practices, and if you keep on updating your Google My Business, if you keep on getting more reviews and ratings, and if you keep on updating testimonials on your website, no one can stop you from getting number one position on Google My Business in your uh, vicinity. So that's the whole idea. That's how you can do better on Google My Business. And definitely like if you guys have any question, we'll come back. Now, meta ads. Why I'm saying meta ads? Because this is one of the cheapest way of marketing. Like if you, can, if you want to start, you can start with like, 100 rupees a day and do a very precise targeting in your vicinity of let's say 10 or 20 kilometer radius, whatever is your uh, audience proximity. Okay, you can start with 100, 200 rupees, like the maximum, like the minimum, you can start with like 3000 or 6000 rupees of a monthly budget. And it's very simple. The first thing is how meta works. So users are browsing various content on Facebook and on Instagram. They will see an ad and add something like this. You have to create some creative or some ad copy for yourself, which we will also help you create. You can create an ad and then boost it or then you can promote it through Facebook ad manager. You have to just choose the right set of targeting and define the objective. The objective can be directly lead generation or the objective can be getting traffic to your website. You can use either of them. Okay. So when users are browsing on the website, they will see an ad. They will click on that ad. Then either they will go to a lead form or they will go to your website page from where they can book an appointment. It's that simple. And only thing that you need is Facebook account with ad manager activated. The various objective that you can use with Facebook is you can increase your website visit. You can, sorry, you can directly generate leads from Facebook. If you have posted something, you can increase the post engagement. So for example, if you want more like, comment or shares, then you can do that as well. So for example, if you have created a video for yourself, and talking about like five uh, things that you should avoid with a fatty liver. I'm just taking an example. So if you have created a nice video and you have posted on Facebook and you want more people to watch it and engage with it, then you can boost it through post engagement. You can also run page follower based campaign through which you can increase page followers. Okay. Also, if you, if you just want video views, if you want people to watch videos only, there is a campaign called video views. If you have an app installed, app, app for your clinic, you can create an app installation campaign. Or if you want to get more traffic in your store, then you can also run store traffic campaign. Now this store traffic campaign is like little weird, but <coughs> how this works is, if you have tagged your geolocation, so for example, if you are situated in Hodgkas, South Delhi, and if there are people in five kilometer radius of your clinic, then when people are using their Facebook, they will see your ad. So that's how the store traffic works. And if they're interested, they will redirect that traffic to your business listing page. So that's the various kind of meta ads that you can use. Now, what are the best practices? The best practices, first, you have to understand who is your right audience and what they are actually interested in, what they are interacting with. Okay. So first understand your audience, 
then create an effective ad content what people might just click very useful content which a user may say wow i didn't know this i might i should definitely visit this website okay so create the right ad content then optimize your ad just by asking the right set of, so for example if if it's a lead gen then you should ask the right set of questions like what are the various problems that you are facing since how long you have been facing these problems so that when the user is filling up those lead forms they should be aware ki okay uh, the i am getting the right set of question from my doctor or the doctor is actually asking me these questions so you have to create questions and cts in that manner if you have a database of existing customers you can upload them on your facebook you can directly target them through facebook ads also you can create a look alike audience of all those existing users and then you can create ad for those look alike audience like people similar to this audience please make my ad visible to other customers as well after you have done all this please measure like which ad copy is working better for you which audience is working better for you for example if you have targeted 23 to 40 and then 40 to 55 understand which audience is working better for you if you have created an ad copy with saying 10% discount or referral bonus or any any sort of ad content see which ad content is working better for you keep on rotating the ad content so measure and then rework on your entire plan so that's the best practice about meta ads but apart from running the ads which is more crucial for you is how you can engage with your regular customers or regular users the idea is regularly posting on facebook and instagram please be consistent post at least twice or thrice a week on your facebook and instagram apart from just doing a regular post share knowledge with your followers it not just like the existence of your clinic but also how your clinic can help can you like create a post about do you know or top 5 tips kind of content okay there are users who might be asking various kind of questions in the comment please read them and i try to understand what kind of generic questions that that you are getting mostly can you resolve them through various post can you resolve them by creating a video if you can please create those content and post it and boost it on your facebook so that's how you can create it now mr sunil will talk more about this content on the i care hill platform uh, over to you mr sunil thanks thanks anil one our interaction with uh, all of you what we learnt is uh, putting them on the platform is not a challenge uh, but creating uh, a useful co content which is useful engaging and which can lead to cta is the real real challenge that to be solved with the doctors and there came the solution where we built everything in an automated environment and you get your posts on the i care heal app itself which you will be able to distribute through uh, facebook instagram or any other handles that you have so let me showcase that to you as to exactly how that happens so since this feature is available on the app i will share the direct app that we are having and showcase it to you so i i hope my mobile screen is visible uh so when uh, uh, all our doctor users they have got a section of social on the app and this is divided into three parts uh, all the posts that we are sharing this month then the posts which have frequently been used by the doctors and then all the posts uh, which have come in the past months so so far we have giving we have been giving 8 to 10 posts every week uh, Uh, which effectively comes on a sunday and a tuesday to all of you and these can be distributed across any uh, any channels so th this is a post that we did on heart uh, heart disease and awareness about them uh, we had national vaccination day day which came just few days ago uh, a post related to vaccination was being given 
so here we take care of the complete uh, content strategy as to how through this you can engage your users uh, and you would have a ready collection of all the posts which have been sent uh, at any point of time uh, through i care heal apps and these can be used uh, shared and distributed across your multiple channels uh, so this is how we have been doing this and uh, anirban if you can help understand how these posts will help engage uh, the patient in a meaningful way is something that uh, we would be keen to understand yeah so of course like when you create this kind of useful content or something like okay let me just share my screen again yeah once you create this kind of useful content then of course you can build more sympathy for your brand for your customers key okay so in the digital space what we do is like there are two types of content either the content is uh, sorry entertaining or the content is useful to the customers and the users they mostly try to gain something out of you so they cannot receive any physical content physical uh, element so that's why the only thing that you can impart is a good knowledge good information so when you share this kind of content users will grow more affinity for your brand and there is a high likability like they will come to you or they will de definitely contact you so i know there is a there is something called zoe clinic which is in noida which is far from my place at least south delhi now my wife she keeps on engaging with her on instagram and somehow uh, she keeps on showing me like okay please check this uh, clinic she is doing a real good job we should go and definitely visit her so you should also be present in that manner create content which is actually useful to uh, your customers so that's why engaging creating content on everyday basis or weekly basis is very important for your brand so any other question that digital marketing i can take care of or if you have anything from like the platform like if you have any query regarding platform definitely you can ask it out so thanks thanks anirban uh, over to you vikrant uh, to share the questions interesting questions which have come on the chat and uh, if you want me to take it or anirban to take it yeah so uh, thanks uh, so initial few questions uh, would be for you sunil to take up uh, for example dr kunal has mentioned Uh, that all that uh, anirban mentioned uh, regarding digital marketing initiatives that a doctors can undertake uh, he has mentioned that doctors don't have the time to create website or do digital marketing which is so true uh, in uh, today's scenario so how can uh, doctors do it uh, themselves so he is asking whether i care heal can manage everything with respect to the website and digital marketing this is the first part of the question okay thanks thanks dr kunal for joining in first of all and uh, this question uh, so at i care heal we have understood that time is the major factor with all the doctors and in that sense uh, the google uh, the google business profile the website creation the content graphics and seo uh, together with the creation of social media posts is what we have already undertaken and the platform has been to answer your second question dr kunal the platform has been built in a self service mode as well where we slowly gradually and constantly keep guiding you on how these things can be undertaken by you and your team as well so it obviously starts off with we doing most of the things and then slowly and gradually the needle keeps moving in the keeps moving in the direction where you or your team can start taking this up Uh, and we gradually move on to the next level where we keep building more cool cooler things for you uh, to take up things in an easier way thanks sunil the second question was uh, uh, more on the uh, you know meta initiatives and uh, ad initiatives that uh, uh, anirban was talking about uh, when dr kunal again requested to know whether uh, you know uh, all this thing can can be done by i care it as well so including we, videos yes so yes most of these things can be done through i care heal dr kunal and we would get in touch with you separately to discuss some of these initiatives great 
thank you so much sunil uh, so uh, on the video specifically do you have any uh, comments sunil uh, which uh, doctors present here uh, uh, should know yes so specifically after doing the social media posts uh, we have been researching on how easily videos can be created and distributed across multiple channels so we have recently come up with a product uh, where we work with the doctors uh, in terms of video creation uh, where uh, the videos are being shot by the do doctors themselves the basis uh, inputs guidelines from us and then we undertake the editing and creation of final video together with the seo optimized content to be put on the platform so that that's a specialized service which we have already started working on and pilots are on and very soon we'll have a full product rollout as well there is one more question from dr kunal he is stressing that uh, whether i care he can create the website uh, for him or there are some aspects that he needs to uh, do himself okay and uh, in case i care he does it uh, you know i care has a, a ready customer available he will opt for i care oh yes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes dr kunal we would uh, love to take it up and uh, we'll connect with you great thank you so uh, in case other doctors have uh, questions to put in uh, Sunil and Anirban will be happy to answer them. So we can just wait a minute uh, for other questions to come in in case they come. Sure, Dr. Gunal, we have uh, uh, your details, so we will get, get in touch with you. And uh, Vikrant, we, we can share my or your I, mine or your numbers on the chat itself uh, so that uh, Dr. Kunal and all our uh, doctor friends can connect with us at any point of time. So I have shared the number of both Sunil and myself, uh, and uh, please feel free to connect on these numbers. I think uh, uh, we have uh, uh, through the we have been through the entire presentation, Sunil. Or is any part left? No, we are done from our side, Vikram. Great. So I think uh, we have uh, uh, you know doctors can save these numbers and uh, uh, can connect us uh, anytime you know uh, they wish to, uh, so that we can take up the digital marketing initiatives for them. Thanks, thanks, Vikrant. Thanks, An Anirban, for taking us taking this through, and thanks uh, to all the doctor friends for joining this webinar. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. So we we close this webinar now. Thank you so much for joining.